All right. So Dawn has taught her pretty good eye contact. She does not give me very good eye contact yet. I know. So we're going to try that. We're going to try that. Are you ready? All right. So, okay. so I'm actually going to start with offered attention. Find it. I'm going to mark when she looks up at me. Yes. Find it. And I'm going to make sure she's looking at my face. Yes. Find it. Yes. Find it. I know. Oh. Yes. Oh, sorry. That had to look in. You had to look in the sun, huh? Where'd you go? Yes. Find it. And I know you guys can't see my face, but she can. Yes. Find it. And you could also use a clicker for this. Yes. Find it. Watch me. It. So once you get the behavior you want, watch me. Yes, and it's predictable and quick. Watch me. Yes, you can ask for it. Oops, sorry, it got stuck to my hand. There you go. Watch me. Yes, good girl, find it. Watch me. Yes, find it. And I'm moving around. Watch me. Yes, find it. Somewhat unpredictably, I have to stay within range of the camera, of course. Watch me. Yes, find it. But I want her to have to look for my face versus just looking up for food. Watch me. Yes. Find it. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Let's see if you can do it. We're jumping way ahead. But we're going to see if she can do it. I don't think my hands will be on camera, but let's see. I'm holding a treat out to the side. Watch me. Oh, we're not ready for that. We're not ready for that. Oh, I know. We got something blowing in the wind. There we go. So she's not ready for the distraction, but I can see. She's wandered off. I can see. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Find it. Watch me. Yes. Find it. So what I'm seeing right now is just if she can look at me after she gets distracted on her own. Find it. There you go. So I'm letting her wander off, and then I'm calling her. Watch me. Yes, she does not like the sun in her eyes, that's funny. Watch me. Yes, good girl. So dad's been practicing with her names. So this is actually a new response. Watch me. Yes, good job. Watch me. Yes, beautiful. Find it. She's going to have to wander for a moment because she did not see where it fell. There we go. Watch me. Yes, very good. All right, you want to try my hands? So I'm not going to do the treat out to the side. Typically, I won't demonstrate with the food. Typically I'll transition to standing up full height and holding a treat all the way out to the side and then cueing them watch me and see if they can even glance at me for a second away from the food and then hand it to, um, to the dog. She was dancing. So for the purposes of today, we're going to go straight into um, kind of a puppy zen. So, hey pup, pup, pup. I know you found a crumb. So I have treats in my hand, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reward her for giving me attention away from the food. And since we just worked on the other cue, I'm gonna see if she'll remember. Watch me. Yes, good girl. It doesn't have to be for long. Watch me. And I can help, yes, by pointing up to my face. I do have to be careful what else she's doing because she was waving her paw. And I don't want her to think that's part of the game. But notice how I keep my hands still. That's really important because if I pull it up, then she's going to want to chase it, and it's a super fun game. Because she wasn't... Yes, because she wasn't responding to the cue watch me initially. I stopped because I didn't want watch me to mean get frustrated or pop my hand. So I'm just going with the silent game where I just wait, and I might make a kissy noise to help. Yes, good girl. So the moment she backs off, she's going to get a treat. Also notice I'm picking it up with my other hand because I want to be able to pick up, yes, good girl, I want to be able to pick up anything that's fallen because eventually we'll practice with this stuff on the floor um, and if say a pill falls or anything like that, I want the dog to wait for me to pick it up and then obviously if it's a pill I can go and get her something else. Oh, nice. Yes, so the goal is that I can keep my hand open. I know dad has done some leave it with treats on, the f on her feet but I don't think he's done any of this game because she doesn't seem Yes, good girl, to know what I want, but she's figuring it out. There we go. So any movement towards it. Yes, good girl. My hand will close. 
and they move it back because she has slowed down and started lying down herself. Yes. Um, most puppies won't do this fast. Again, she's had a little bit of pre-training. Um, don't know what, to what extent. There we go. Yes. But if your dog is lying down a lot, that's where you can start opening your hand. And the goal is that you can keep your hand wide open with food and that your dog will pay attention to you and look at you to ask for permission. Yes, good girl. Instead of going after the food. So if at any point she goes towards the food, again, I'm going to close my hand. Yes, good girl. Even though I didn't get eye contact there, I lowered it and she didn't go after it. So my goal is that I can leave my hand open and she's just going to look up at me instead. And before we were working specifically on eye contact, I would still like this to be eye contact. But in the beginning, it's just leaving the food alone. And this doesn't necessarily have to have a word. So this can be a calming exercise for puppies because they have to learn to calm themselves and back off from something that's really exciting. Yes, good girl. So for some dogs, this can be very calming. Maybe not in the beginning, but as they start to figure it out. Yes, good girl. Take it, there you go. Um, but what we're really doing is we're teaching a default leave it. Yes, good girl. And so we're trying to teach the dog if they want something, check in with you instead. And this may be for food you have that's for them, so they aren't just grabbing it, but it might be your sandwich, or it might be their toy, and you don't want them, yes, you don't want them ripping it out of their hand, or it might be a tissue or a piece of trash or anything else. Um, and eventually we'll transition, yes, to on the floor. Good girl, can you take it? If I take a big piece, I don't want crumbs, so that's not fair to her. So if I take a big piece and I have a little piece ready in my other hand, there we go, and I might cover it. And I'm just waiting for the same response. In the beginning, I'm going to treat yes from my other hand so I can do it quickly. I'm trying to make my other hand as nonchalant as possible. And that's really important. Don't make your other hand a big deal. Yes, good girl. So now that she's given up on my hand on the ground, I'm going to uncover it for a moment and then cover it if necessary. Yes, good girl. And if your dog has a really great response to the watch me cue, like if you're doing this on separate days instead of right after each other, yes. Then, um, then you could use that watch me cue to help your dog. Um, I am jump starting this for the purpose of filming. Yes, so she doesn't have a rock solid response to that cue because I literally just taught her in this video. I know, yes, thank you. Again, dad has done some practice work with leaving treats on her feet, so this is something she's used to. So don't feel bad when your puppy isn't this good at it already. Yes. Good girl. But this is eventually what you want. Yes, good girl. So I can pick it up from the ground, put it back down, and even pick it up and drop it. And I've never done this with her, so yes. You never know how well a cue is going to transfer from one person to another. Always expect your dog to not know what, what on earth the person expects from them. Yes, good job, and don't be frustrated if the dog will listen to one person in the household and not the other, um, that's really important that everyone practices and just pretends like they don't know the dog's training history. Yes, good job. That's the best way to have, uh, yes, to have uh, realistic expectations. Rick, you can get up, good job, thank you. And to not get frustrated, and if you do get frustrated, always take a deep breath and wait. Um, that's really important both so that you release tension, but also so that you wait long enough before re-asking your dog to do something. If you feel yourself saying no or uh-uh or something like that, and it's more than one time, you need to stop what you're doing and kind of re refigure out what you're doing. Um, so this is just one way to, to practice. Um, Susan Garrett calls it, it's your choice. Um, other, I can't remember who called it Puppy Zen, but there's a lot of different names for it, but basically it's just a default leave it. Um, and the attention game. So with the attention game, we had our watch me, so that we can get eye contact. Again, in the beginning, you're calling them away from a treat that they just whoop, ate, and then you'll call them away from not doing anything in particular, just kind of wandering around and seeing if you can get their attention um, as they wander. And then eventually you'll call them when there is a distraction, and I would treat and then send them back and tell them to go sniff or whatever it is. What are we doing now, Shilly? Are you still looking for crumbs? Are you still looking for crumbs? You are. There was a crumb that got into the rocks back here. All right, Missy, thank you. You're all done.